2020-2020 mode. Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Let's go. Let's do this. This mode is literally the easiest mode. Uh, probably the second easiest maybe out of all of them. Uh, you don't have to check the vents. I made the mistake by checking the vents because I was just used to doing my natural pattern while playing this game. After the first or the last two nights, nights five and six, I was like, okay, pattern. And I just stuck to it. But you don't have to check the vents at all. Okay, all you got to focus on in this mode, winding the box, flashing Foxy, and putting your mask down. That's literally it. Okay. Uh, so you can flash Foxy a couple times, wind up the box. If it gets pulled down, try and get used to putting your mask back on right away. All right. It's mostly this challenge is mostly text testing your reaction time. That's basically what it's doing. It's, it's not hard at all. Okay. Uh, eventually, at like I think 3 a.m. I realized that I don't have to do the vent thing and uh, yeah so there's a couple things to note first of all you can still flash Foxy even if your lights not turning on I'm pretty sure the reason why your lights not turning on is because uh, it's because of Freddy in the hall so if your lights not turning on that's a sig a sign that Freddy's in the hallway and uh, Foxy could still be in the hallway so just keep spamming the light even if you don't see him well, even if you can't see it on the hallway, I should say, right? Another thing is, uh, there was another thing that I, I already forgot what it was. <laughs> that's, that's the first big thing. Like the flashlight's not going to turn on. It is what it is. Just keep flashing down the hallway. No problemo. Um, there was a second, there was another one, but I literally forgot what it was. So let's just go back to talking about the game. Oh, if Foxy's not in the hallway, if you turn your flashlight on, and there's no one there. Like Foxy's not in the hall. Then you can push the timer to about six or seven seconds. All right. I wouldn't push it any more than eight seconds. And the only reason I'd say push it to eight seconds is if you're really desperate. So if you're, if you know that the windup box is about to run out and you don't have time to put on or to wait out a animatronic, then push, try and push it to eight seconds and they pull down your, your camera on this mode. But uh, only do that if Foxy's not in the hallway. If he's in the hallway, just push it to about six seconds. I would just say stay at five because it's just easier that way. And you're not risking anything. All right? So you can see that multiple times now, my box is about to run out. And I'm waiting to try and push it. See, Foxy's not in the hall. So I'm going to push it now. And every crunch is a second. Yeah, I don't go one, two, three though. I go two, four, six because sometimes I count a little bit late and it messes up how many times I've actually counted, how many seconds have actually gone by. So I do two, four, six. It just makes it easier that I'm never ever gonna go over the amount of seconds required, right? Or two, three, four. Two, three, four, five, six is what I do. I don't go two, four, six. I make that mistake too. I go two, four, six, eight, and then I put the camera down. I'm, it's, I don't know. <laughs> I do that mistake too, but two, three, four is what I actually do in my head while playing the game. I'm still checking the, I was, I just, again, I was so used to just doing the pattern. I just did it. Uh, there's another pattern that I do in a couple videos later that actually works a lot better than just going from left to right all the time, right? You go from left to right and then from right to left. That's just the, the better pattern I find. Uh, you could camp a vent, but it's, I think it's more risky that way, especially we don't know the entire, the full mechanics of how the animatronics actually work and the specific details you need to learn in order to camp the vent. So it's better just go from left to right or right to left. That's what I find doing. I always go from left to right for a while. And then I think pretty soon I realize I don't have to check the vents anymore when I realize that there's no one ever in the vents. <laughs> so that should be pretty soon. There we go. I thought I was dead here. I was not dead though. It gives you uh, it gives you quite a bit of lean time to actually pull down your mask, which is good. All right. But this mode is mostly just testing your mask skills, how quickly you can pull down the mask when you need to pull it down, right? Or getting used to putting on the mask after you put down the camera. That's what this mode is. I, could, I like to consider each mode as like a training kind of thing. And they're not really designed to be very hard, to be honest. They just get you used to the different kind of animatronics and how they're going to attack you, right? 
the uh, these ones are not that bad. They just kind of just pop out whenever, and they're just, they're just really annoying. That's all they are. Annoying as hell is what they are. Okay, and now you can see I stopped checking the vents because I realized I don't have to check the vents. So my focus is to just keep the box wound up, flash the hallway, put on the mask every time I put down the camera like that, and then just keep resetting Foxy. I don't know how many times it takes to reset Foxy, but I flash them about like, uh, I'd say three or four times before I put the camera up. Uh, I do it really quick, so I don't actually keep track of how many times it is, but just, just give them quick flashes. That's all you need to do. Give him a few and then put the camera up so he just stays the heck there. There's Freddy. Get out of here, Freddy. No one wants you, okay? No one cares about you, Freddy, okay? Wind that box back up, boy. Wind that box back up, boy. Boom. Didn't die. I thought I was dead. I made that face because I thought I was dead. I was not dead. I have the webcam on, but I'm not talking in the webcam because I'm super focused. And I just wanted you guys to know that it, it actually is my gameplay, okay? People like to assume crap that it's not their gameplay. Uh, and sometimes they're right, but in this situation, 100% wrong. This is my gameplay. Um, I'm doing all the necessary head moves <laughs> to, to keep my freaking thing in check. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think that even if you're going to do a voiceover, depending on what it is, for these kind of situations where it's like, a learning teaching kind of thing i think it's better to have the webcam but i'm just super focused right now it's going on five o'clock the mission is almost over and i'm just con i'm just i'm kind of panicking right now because i know it's about to be over and i'm just waiting patiently i'm patiently waiting and then all of a sudden boom game done <laughs>